cataractcoach.com. Surgical pearls for small pupil cases, such as making the capsule rexus larger than the pupil. So here's a pearl. When you inject viscoelastic, let's achieve some viscomedriasis. Osher has taught us this. We want to inject the viscoelastic at the pupil margin to push the iris to the periphery. And you can see you can expand the pupil by one and a half, maybe even two millimeters in diameter. That's a significant help. Making the main incision here, we're going to make this incision uh, in a very appropriate position so that we don't end up having iris prolapse. Because this patient, like many of the small pupil ones, takes Tamsulosin or Flomax and can be a good case of IFIS or floppy iris syndrome. So now, before we do the rexus, there's another trick. Watch this. Using my caps rexus forceps in one hand and the chopper in the other, we're going to do some pupil stretching. Now, there are other instruments available for this, but I happen to have these two instruments on my tray. Now that we stretch the pupil out, now we can inject a little more viscoelastic, and lo and behold, we can achieve an even better pupil size. Look at this now. Now the pupil size is pretty good. That looks excellent. So now when it's time for our capsule rexus, we're going to make this rexus underneath the pupil, underneath that iris margin. So larger than the pupil. So here you have about a four and a half millimeter pupil, but yet we're going to make about a five millimeter capsule rexus. So the very edge of the capsule rexus is now under the iris tissue. You don't directly visualize it at all. And that's okay. You know where it is. You've got this. Not a big deal. You've done this a thousand times. Heck, probably 10,000 times. There's the nice capsule rexus. Now, before we go to the next step, let me remind you about cataractcoach.com. I know you guys love my YouTube videos, but there's a lot more material on Cataract Coach. Check it out. And sign up for that free daily email. Now, getting back here, here's the end of the case. Now look how tiny the pupil has become. Wow, that's a very small pupil now. We've removed all the cortex, but what are we going to do next? Let's fill up the eye with more viscoelastic. There's the this, uh, cohesive viscoelastic. It expands the pupil a little bit. That's helpful. And what we'll do now is implant the eye well. So we're going to put a single piece of acrylic lens here in the capsule bag. So fixate the eye here. Here's the eye well injector. Start advancing the eye well, making sure it goes in the capsule bag. And there's a little bit of a leap of faith here. And we're going to confirm, though. I'm pretty sure it's in the capsule bag. In fact, I'm positive it is. But I just like to prove it to myself and prove it to my viewers. So now the lens is in the bag. Now look, we'll lift up the iris, and you can see in all quadrants that the eye well optic is definitely under the caps rexus. So important to get this final check. We're also making sure that there's no residual cortex. So next time you do one of these cases, keep these pearls in mind.